Well, it finally happened. I slept through my alarm. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign I should take a look at my sleep hygiene. Let's get up. Welcome back. My name is Angel. I'm a mom of two boys. And in today's video, I am spending the day at home with the family. We are going to make muffins. My husband's going to go on a motorcycle ride, so I'll take the baby to the park. It's going to be a good day. So I really want chocolate for breakfast, and I have this mix in my pantry. So I thought I'd make muffins and add some chocolate chips to them. We actually have a lot of different baking mixes in the pantry. I have a canned pantry downstairs, so I keep all of my canned food and non-essentials, so things that I don't use on a regular basis. And these muffin mixes and cake mixes would definitely fall into that category. I was surprised at how many muffin mixes I had downstairs, so... I need to use more of these. I forgot the milk. It's no wonder it was so thick. That looks better. I am using a whole cup of chocolate. I forgot to preheat the oven. Okay. I was definitely a little off my game this morning. I forgot the milk. I preheated the oven, but I actually ended up preheating the oven wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to fix that here in a second. But here I am preparing the first batch of muffins. I'm using this scooper to help me put the batter in the cups. I was wrong. It's supposed to be 400. Heavens. Once the muffin mix was ready to go into the oven, I am setting a timer for 15 minutes and then I am going to get the kids up. Oh, you're awake. You've got a button on your shirt. Yeah. Are you ready to go to Grammy's today? Go to Grammy's house. Go to Grammy's house, yeah. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah, she'll probably let you play with her toys. I got my oldest up first because he's going to Grammy's house today and the baby was still sleeping. I let the baby sleep for a few more minutes while I got the muffins out. First batch done. Next muffins going in. Muffins! Mama's making muffins. Ow, ow. Muffins. They are a little hot still, baby. We'll wait till they cool down and then we'll have one. Come on. <laughs> Are you so happy today? Good morning. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> oh, it's snuggle. Hi. What? What do you see? A ball. Oh, that's a nose sucker. Nose sucker. And a hammer, yeah. 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 Oh, you flipped over, huh? You did. What are you looking for? Oh. 
<laughs> okay, we can do your vitamins. All right, let's flip back over and take care of you. It's got chocolate. Have you tasted it? Yeah, Daddy's got muffins too. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese and oranges. Cheese and oranges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and take it to the sink. All right. Good job, kiddo. You're a good helper. My oldest was so funny. He saw me put butter on my muffins and said cheese. So then he wanted uh -oh. a slice of cheese. <laughs> so that's why the kids had slices of cheese with their muffins and fruit this morning. After breakfast, we transitioned to the living room. At this point, my mom had come to pick up my oldest. So it was just me and the baby because it was a really nice day and my husband wanted to take a motorcycle ride. Okay, so my oldest son is with my mom. I am dressed, I've got jeans on and everything. This little guy is ready to go to the park. Since I slept in and I didn't have a chance to walk on the treadmill this morning, we're gonna go to the park and walk in the park. And it's gonna be really nice because it's actually kind of warm today. Yay, okay, let's do it. I was actually really excited to go to the park. It's something that I used to do all of the time with my oldest son. My oldest was born in 2020, so during the height of the pandemic. And it was the two of us against the world. We were alone together a lot because my husband had to go into work and I stayed home with the baby. And one of the things that kept me sane during that time was going to the park. We couldn't go to the mall. We couldn't go to the grocery store. We couldn't do any of the usual normal everyday things. We, we had to stay away from everyone, even family. So it got very lonely and the park was one of the only places that I could take him as, as a young baby. So it was nice to take my second child to that park and reminisce about those times when it was just me and my firstborn and enjoy the weather. Is it pretty? <laughs> yeah. Well, that ended up being a much more exciting trip to the park than I thought it would be. <laughs> when we arrived, there was a man urinating in the trees right along the edge of the park. <laughs> And as I later found out while we were walking, it's because the bathrooms were out of service. Then we lost our dinosaur toy. I don't know how. We walked around several times. I couldn't find it, so somebody must have picked it up. I just feel really bad about that, that we lost his little blue dinosaur, but it's gone. And then on the way home, I saw somebody pulling a deer carcass that was on the side of the road into their minivan. So... Um, not exactly how I pictured today's little trip to the park going, but, um, it was interesting. It was very interesting. So, we're going to go have lunch now. Is this it? Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly. Tasty? Isn't that tasty? <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Are you dancing? We're dancing because it's good. <laughs> oh, you're a sweetheart. We're dancing because it's good. Yeah, good lunch. Oh, good.
Oh, oh. <laughs> sandwich down. Sandwich down. That's okay. We still have one more. Unless you're full. <coughs> yeah. Are you full? Oh, sandwich down. I think that means we're full. Yeah? You gonna drive on mommy? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yellow car. You're the sweetest little kid. Uh oh, we dropped it. Once we got home from the park, we had some peanut butter sandwiches for lunch, a little bit of playtime, and then it was time for nap. So here I am, I'm letting my son pick out the story. I give him two options. We read the story. Then I do a song, sing a song or two, and we have some cuddles. I actually ended up falling asleep with him in the chair. And I was there for like 20, 30 minutes just holding him while we both slept. These moments are some of my favorite moments with my kids. Is just holding them, enjoying their company, and being there with them. you by opening it <laughs> about 10 minutes after I put the baby down in his crib my husband got home from his motorcycle ride and he wanted chicken fingers and fries and let's be honest so did I so I made some <laughs> we had some frozen chicken nuggets and frozen fries and I just took some peanut oil and fried them up I know I know it's not very healthy and it's a nice treat, but it just tastes so much better when you fry them instead of bake them. After some downtime, the baby woke up. Here I am cuddling with him on the couch. And then my mom brought home our oldest son. My husband was doing laundry in the living room. So of course, both the cats and the kids wanted to play with the laundry basket. And we just enjoyed some time together. We cuddled, we played, even the cat played with us. It was a nice time. And then once it was time for bed, we cleaned up the toys with the kids and just enjoyed each other's company. We have this one cat toy. It's like a green egg shape with a wand and a feather toy on the end it's down to like one feather but it's aurora's favorite toy you can see her there and she has loved it ever since she was a kitten so because that was out she was all about it after we got the kids down to bed my husband and i watched a little bit of tv in the living room here's mr finn he's watching tv with us and then i went to bed and had miss snowdrop cuddle with me Thanks for watching.